We are here at Change Now, the largest event in the world for solutions for our planet. And we're going to be showing you some of our favorite solutions. We'll be passing the mic to the founders of each of the solutions so that they can summarize what they do. At the end of the video, we want to hear from you in the comments which solution is your favorite. So let's go. Change Now is sectioned up into different topics, from renewable energy and green mobility to repairing ecosystems and saving our ocean. Here are just a few of our favorite solutions from the event. So uh, we discuss surfboards. We are uh, growing surfboards out of mushrooms. So basically we use a vegetal waste that uh, we mix with mycelium, which is the underground part of the mushroom. And then we put it uh, with water and we collect rainwater to do it and then we grow everything in a mold and then the resin keeps the water out. And then you have the surfboard that is made of vegetal instead of plastic. So Pure Ocean is an download fund. Uh, we're currently based in Marseille. Today we finance more than 34 projects all around the world. So this is one of our projects that's called Floating Reef. Our projects are aiming uh, to protect the biodiversity, but also to understand biodiversity to uh, make the solutions of tomorrow, so maybe understand some new bacteria, how we can do some, uh, some new uh, materials, you know, um, and also protect and, uh, and fight against plastic pollutions. Tell me about this amazing suit that I'm wearing. That suit, which I call a cloak, is made out of things that I found on the beach. I work with a program called Pick Up Owls. It's for kids and it gets kids out litter picking. Picker Pals is, is in uh, 5,000 classrooms. Wow. So there's like 300,000 people doing Picker Pals. Well, it's not just beaches, it's actually uh, parks, streets, uh, byways, highways, uh, and other environments, so inland as well. The new materialists, we are trying for the, for the rise of a new economy based on uh, biomaterials. So you've got uh, this kind of material which is made out of uh, of uh, corn straw, okay, the one that is that remains on the fields after the harvest. So we offer a second harvest to the to the farmers, and then uh, we make that uh, material uh, for uh, packaging. So we have to in sometimes we have to innovate and find new things. That's what you see here. And sometimes we just go elsewhere as the, and uh, watch what is on the market. So we are a startup based in Zurich, and we try to upcycle the waste. So typically we use walnut shells, olive pits, and we use them under the form of a powder. The advantage is that you can integrate it into conventional uh, processing methods. So we can go into injection molding, hot pressing, 3D printing, and for clients, then there is no additional cost to, to switch them, to change the machine or anything. Eosphere was founded in Berlin in uh, 2018 and uh, we dedicate to use a different kind of uh, fruit ways uh, to create uh, an innovation and also uh, strong performance materials. This is all come from uh, plant-based uh, cellulose and uh, we use the cellulose to create our own uh, uh, plant-based resin and coat it on the backing. So you can, you can see there's a different uh, color, uh, different texture and different uh, thickness. Before we continue with the list, please meet Bertrand Picard, a Swiss explorer and environmentalist who introduced us to some of the incredible innovators who are part of his Solar Impulse Foundation. You have to understand that the Solar Impulse Foundation wants to identify solutions that are economically profitable. Because if it's expensive, nobody will use them. If it is sacrificial, it will create a counter reaction. You cannot go into decarbonization by degrowing the economy. The world will be against you. So you need solutions that are economically profitable, that exist today, that can protect the environment by creating jobs and profits. If you do that, you can have the label of the Solar Impulse Foundation. And what I like at Change Now is that several of the labeled solutions from the Solar Impulse Foundation are presented and Eliorec is one of them. This is a thermoelectric um, solar hybrid biochar oven. Please. This is for refugee camps and um, off-grid communities across the world. We have a very cheap injection molded Fresnel lens. Fresnel, of course, French physicist, Perfect. Uh, concentrating 
the, uh, the grooves are underneath so that the sand doesn't scare them. Uh, that then concentrates about a kilowatt peak of uh, solar thermal onto heat pipes, aluminium heat pipes, ah, yes. that deliver by latent heat transfer the energy into the cooking chamber, which is here. So we think it's the world's most cost-effective solar hybrid feeding station. We discover that it's possible to recharge non-rechargeable batteries. I mean, single-use one, they are rechargeable. We are making a diagnostic, we make a test, for example, this one is brand new. So when you put it, it makes a test, and then you know that this one you don't put in the garbage. Because one battery on three in the garbage is brand new. People put it without diagnostic, they without don't know tank. If it's used or new exactly. or in the doubts, they just uh, exactly. Throw it away. Yeah. exactly. And we take care of the battery and we redistribute the battery, for example, for, for students and our project, of course to make uh, reconditioned lead batteries in the market. Demeter is um, as an innovation about a substract for roof, green roof vegetalization. It is a very light substract. Can you put it vertical like this where it's standing up? It is vertical. It can be on roof, it can be on a wall, because it's like a, a plaque. Our main point is that we able to go to retrofit because our weight is very light. At Highlight, we build the highlighters, which are a new technology to inspect power lines and pipelines without emitting carbon in the process. Today, operators of power lines and pipelines, they inspect those infrastructure with helicopters, because there are hundreds of thousands of kilometers to inspect. And sadly, helicopters and airplanes emit a lot of carbon, from 100 kilograms per hour to one ton of CO2 per hour, which is quite a lot in my opinion. So we replace those with a drone that can fly for very long ranges without noise, without carbon emissions. Amazing. The last few days have been incredibly inspiring and we can't wait to see how these projects develop in the coming years. We'd now love to hear from you. Let us know down in the comments which of the solutions that we shared were your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to the Going Green channel. We'll see you in the next one. Ready? Ready? Pick up, 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 pick up